I just expressed to the rest of the people in the back of the bus, I know the reason, because look, there's a black guy, a black guy, a black guy, dark lady, me, this guy's half nigger. There's too many niggers in the back of the bus, so they look and they're like, no, nah, we don't want to go back there. And look, they're still cramped up. I stopped my car, I turned back on, this is 10 minutes later. But this is the, the slogan I said is, they scared the niggers, but they acting niggerish. Think about that. Look at this, cramp up sardine shit. Because of their mentality. But are they wrong? I mean, I'm scared of niggers too. Aren't you? So, now after, you know, one, two, one, two, there's some tasty morsels. So my go-to spot always when I want something tasty. When I'm out and about in the hot sun, feeling good, getting good, is the Asian spots. They always got the good tasty morsels. Whether it be a supermarket or you always get some cheap chicken wings or something. Like this one, you'll see. You see a one, two, one, two, and you're good, and you keep it moving. This is a deal with the sun. Box of juice, tasty morsels, and brown. Fly gear. That's number one. You gotta look fly every time you. Eat. And I said, let's see what we can get. Ooh. Oh yeah, here we go. Air conditioners kicking. Look at the nice balloons. Food court fly. Now let's see what we can find that's nice and tasty. And um yeah, what else you got? And a, and a wong tong soup. Uh, for here. For here. Wong Tong soup and chicken wings. You can't go wrong. Yeah. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. Mmm. That's the good stuff. And we get back to it after. Auto is to beat the heat, you gotta eat. The heat drains you, it takes a lot of your energy, so you need to build up your energy. My formula box, two juice, preferably light beers, like 4%, 5%, it's light stuff, so you can keep it moving all day. Eat some food, for 10 bucks, all of this, jeez. To beat the heat, you gotta eat. Eat good though. Hit the Chinese places, you see the little supermarkets, little cafes, little, uh, you know, cafeteria areas, courtyards, bam, that's where you get it. That's a hot one today. When you're out in the heat, always walk with a white rag. So you keep yourself nice. Oh, today's one of those days. A box of food, got a little fuel, got some fuel before that fuel, if you get me. Now back to it. So what I'm basically doing today, I'm going sneaker hunting. Now when I go sneaker hunting, I'll go a bunch of different random spots, mom and pop shops. Some of them, they still have their inventory from the 90s and stuff like that. And it's a lot of locations, a lot of you so-called sneaker heads, sneaker pimps online don't know about. This is where I do my thing. So I'm not one of these guys, I got all the Jordans and all of this and that, nah, but I have a good amount of shoes. But dope shoes. And basically, everywhere I go, people are like, where'd you get those? What are those? And I sell time to some people, like, yo, I've had these for like 20 years, you know? So, let's see what's gonna happen.
thing is I'm a bargain shopper, so I'm looking for the cheapest shoes, but also my size. Because of my height, I can wear anything, and I have small feet, so I can wear anything from like 10 to 12. It still does, but I fit like a 10, 10 and a half. And I just look, and some, like I'm telling, like to be honest, even if they're like a bill, 80, 90 bucks, they gotta be extremely wicked for me to buy them. So I'm like a $40, $30, that kind of stuff. And usually you don't find nothing. And I've been looking all day, and I don't see nothing. Random. Pull out this box. They're size 12. Got to get them. Not a computer glitch. It's not a computer glitch. How much is it? It's $39.50. For these? For those, yeah, yeah. Digging is worth it. Got a trim on. I don't see no Masha Marvels though. I guess it collect these like crazy. No? Let's see. Oh my cat. Oh, I don't collect these anymore, but there was a time. Catch me rocking some Mashimaru or some Draymond gear for sure. I think I still got some hats or shoes. When I sneaker shop, I'll go into different kinds of stores. Most people go to Nike, Adidas, but sometimes some of these stores that you pay less type of stores will have certain little pieces of Nikes and Adidas that are pig significant. And look what I just found. Same thing I just got and look how much they are. So it just goes to show, you know, you got to go here, you go there, you go everywhere. And you never know what you might find. That's what sneaker hunting's all about. Hunting. 